and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain's Rage. It's going to be our next meme tier deck. So we have a deck here that's going to be built around Swain and Dragon's Rage, being able to uh, have an ally kick an enemy into the enemy nexus, striking both, and then if the enemy survives, recall it. Um, and that's going to be working really well with Swain, of course. So it's going to be a lot of damage, like Dragon's Rage does damage to the enemy and the enemy nexus, um, and so we need 12 total damage to level up Swain, so that's a really fast way to level up Swain. Um, and then, um, of course, whenever, and then the other cool part about it is that whenever Swain strikes the Nexus, which Dragon's Rage strikes the Nexus, then Swain also does three damage to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. So a great combination there of Swain and Dragon's Rage if we can have a leveled up Swain. Um, so that's what we got going on here. We're going to be pretty aggressive. We're going to have some cool little combos here. So we have, we're going to be a Zed deck and we're going to be playing Ghost to be able to give our allies elusive. Also, Fey Guide to give Elusive as well. <clears throat> but so we can play Zed on turn three, and then even if they have a blocker, we can just go Ghost right away and strike them with the Elusives. I guess they could still block the Living Shadow at that point. Also works on turn five, though, of like turn five have Swain plus Ghost Swain and, and hit them, Nexus Strike, do three, all that kind of stuff. Also to level up Swain, we got Noxion Fervor, a full three copies. That does uh, six damage total. We have three Ravenous Flocks, we got three Death's Hands, so lots of things to help level up our Swain. Decimate, because we're going to be aggro here, so we're going to level up um, our Swain with Decimate. We even have Shunpo, deal to rally, attack again. This could be awesome if we Ghost Swain, right? Like, if we use Ghost, give one of our things elusive, and then Shunpo, then rally, uh, that could be awesome. So lots of cool little combos here. All right, big top end, too, with Captain Farron and Leviathan. This deck looks pretty sweet. Swain's Rage. Let's go play five games. We're just going to be playing them in normal with it being a meme tier deck. But if we do go 4-0, and oh, we will play our fifth game over in ranked. So let's see. So we're starting off against, looks like They Who Endure with Elise. That's what it looks like right now. But we'll see. It could be like an Iceborne Legacy Spider deck. That's possible. All right, we're going to keep the Death's Hand and look for some cheaper cards. Okay, not exactly cheaper there. Reckless Trifarian is going to be doing a good job attacking. Not blocking so much. A good job attacking. I'd like to see Ravenous Flock to be able to pair with the Sentry. All right, Death's Hand that. And then with us having the attack token turn three, we'll just play the Trifarian. They're going to be able to block with Hapless Aristocrat, but oh well, that's just how it is. Yeah. Can stop oh, I could go Grenadier. What does he want from me? I want to go home. Those one ones are very good at blocking a five four. Recite, protect me. Cool. Ooh, missed the allegiance. All right, I'm going to stun. Maybe I don't play that. I'll just play this grenadier. I want. I think I'll take the grenadier trading with the mist with the wraith caller. I'd be happy with that. Death doesn't scare me. Mage Seeker Conservator is an awesome card. It's going to give them an expensive spell that's probably going to be very good. Haunted Relic. So I can use Ghost right now just to do 5 damage to them, or I pass. I think we do 5 damage. Sounds like what our deck is supposed to do. Turn that into, you know, one mana better than Decimate. Especially when we have these Dragon's Rages. Each one of these can do five damage. We have the Leviathan. That can do a lot. Everyone's a garden. Contain magic. Oh. 
Alright, we're gonna stun one of these. Come, come okay. This way. I like that challenge. That still allows me to block. That's a good withering whale. Alright, so I'm only at four for Swain. Right now. Ooh. I expected them to play something, then I, then I was gonna see what, what to do with Dragon's Rage. Oh, overgrown snap vine. Okay. We are definitely gonna have to get rid of overgrown snap vine. <laughs> Sorry, Leviathan. Yeah, this is probably GG's. Oh. That's the card that the Mage Seeker made. I'm not too mad at that, though. Yeah, I'm not too mad at that at all. Because I don't, I don't want to see... I really don't want to see them going real wide with snap finds and then just attacking. So yeah, I, I would rather have this happen. It's slow, but if we could play Swain and Dragon's Rage this turn, they die. But it's... I have to do uh, two slow speed spells. Alright, so if I play Swain, I have three blockers. It means I take seven, so I lose. So I guess we play this. So we have four blockers. Nice born legacy. All right, let's kick one of these. I think we're good. We can just block all three of these. Uh, sure, you can just walk over here too. I think we got this. There's so much straight nexus damage. Yeah, we're going meme, meme deck versus meme deck. Our dragon's rages. Got the job done. <laughs> Got it, get this Harvey. Okay, another Shadow Isles deck. This time we're going Nightfall. Last time we played against this deck, they killed me with a bunch of Cygnuses. And that was mean. Um, I'm not sure about Fervor. So we're going to keep Sentry and Flock, right? We're keeping that combo. That's awesome. I'm not sure about this Noxian Fervor, whether or not to keep it. Um, I don't know. I'll keep it. We can do worse. Alright, so Frostbite Midrange. Cross by midrange is a great deck. This would be a, a big time win if we could get this. We're gonna get rid of these two. I don't really like Reckless Trifarian in this matchup. Just because it, it can't block. 
And they're real aggressive as well. They can usually just like take five or block with an Omen Hawk or something. I've I've played the Frostbite Midrange deck against Reckless Trifarian a decent amount, and I've always had success against it. Like, don't think I've ever lost to this card. And so I don't know, I just wanted to mulligan. Uh, Dragon's Rage is going to be a little worse here, uh, combined with Frostbite. That's a tough matchup, where if we try to Dragon's Rage, then they can Frostbite our thing, and then we're only then we're striking for zero with both of them. So that could be rough. If they're out there, I'll spot them. These old eyes still see far and clear. Cut them down. See, I don't even like this. I don't even like them being able to block and draw a card. That's not even good for me. I don't want them to get farther into their deck and have more more options right away. Patience. I don't know. This is rough. I need to draw Fey Guide and just give the Reckless Trifarian Elusive permanently. We need Fey Guide. So debating whether or not to play House Spider. Guess so. And then we'll just attack like this. I'm through waiting. Okay, that gives it elusive. And then planning on using Death's Hand to kill the Trapper. Many tribes under one banner. I'm saving this Arachnoid Sentry combo for Ash. Ash is the scariest card, and so I'm saving this combo for Ash. I guess maybe, maybe we should do this. Yeah, mid-range Frostbite's really awesome. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the version of mid-range Frostbite that I've played recently, Michael. Done real well with it. Last few times I've played it. And recommend it quite a bit. Don't block like this. Run while you can. <clears throat> All right, so basically what I'm doing, I'm keeping their board full so they want to play more units. They got to just get rid of these. So we get some good value that way. I should be casting Dragon's Rage right here. I want to see what they do first. Cool. Up there in the mountains. I need just a moment. Dang. Eight four Trifarian Glory Seeker. For glory. You're mine. A conquest for Empire. So basically, if they do not have Frostbite plus Culling Strike. Leviathan should finish this game. Fire! 
I wish I could play... I wish I could double spell, right? I wish I could play Leviathan and Decimate. Um, I could go Swain... Swain plus Decimate? Swain plus Decimate... Probably doesn't make that much sense. I don't know. I don't have a, a great plan here. I guess it's... I guess it's just Leviathan. No, I, no, maybe Swain Decimate. Victory awaits. By my hand with Noxus Rides. Grand General! Only the finest serve. Our boots are on their front. So if, if they don't have Culling Strike, we win. Or. They have to have Culling Strike and a Frostbite card. <clears throat> they can't play Harsh Winds, Culling Strike, so they have to have like the, the two mana 3 1 Frostbite and Culling Strike. So come on, Leviathan, one point of damage. You can do it. Indecision is the. Artillery Barrage! There we go. GG's. That's a good win. Done what Oops. is needed. Ooh. Twisted Ezreal. <laughs> Alright, we got our deck, right? Swain's Rage. Swain's Rage. Uh, figured it out. We'll keep one Swain and Mulligan the others. Really, you went two and eight yesterday with the Ash Mid Range? I'm sorry. Were you using the same list that I was using, or were you using a different list? Stop me. Also, I don't know. I think that I do really well with Ash decks. I think that that's like a, a card. I think that's like a card that I I've played a whole bunch, and I think that I. Optimize Ash decks very well. So I think I probably maybe I overrate Ash decks because that's just a, a card that fits my playstyle really well. No, I no I don't play Captain Perrin. Let's see. Here's my mid range Frostbite deck. Lady Thermogenic Beam? Okay. Used five mana. Don't blink, or you miss me. I don't miss. Nailed it. Alright, to save an R spell mana. So one thermogenic beam for them down. Hopefully they don't have another. He started without me. Ooh. That's a great card for them, that Jagged Butcher, because now that can block Swain. <clears throat> so that's a really good card. Hmm. Pass with the five mana. <clears throat> yeah, I just attack. Say your farewells. And then if they kill my Swain, then I Noxion Fervor and kill Ezreal. All right, still gonna just do that right now. If I, because if I don't do anything. They can they can just pass, keep their three mana, attack me, get Mystic Shot, and and you know, have like the Mystic Shot for the Swain, and maybe they Mystic Shot Swain, and then I try to fervor, and then they respond to something else. They keep their Ezreal alive. By just doing that right there, they also don't get the target for their Ezreal. Dang, another one of those. So they don't get the target. Let's get to it. Let's go House Spider. Fuse is lit. So nine out of twelve. We can Death's Hand and make that twelve. Oh, 
Alright, so they have three three more of my cards. Of course, they took the Le Legion Grenadier was one of the cards they took. They took four total cards. They follow the wrong master. So they have three more. So, being able to play Zed, attack immediately before they can remove it. Death doesn't scare me. Because that's just also a really good aggressive card. Our deck's fairly aggressive. And it's another very good aggressive card. Noxus lives on. I am the shadow. Alright, so Swain's leveled up. Yeah, Riptide Rex next turn would be annoying. Ooh, they got rid of Dragon's Rage. Definitely worth it still playing the Swain. And we're about to play Leviathan. Master your demons. Carve a path. Okay, so that's all the cards they took from me. They don't have any more of my cards. Alright, so everybody has to block so they don't get to Rex. Do not disappoint me. How tedious. Cut the breath from them. Okay. We'll have the Swain keep the most health. No excess when victory is at stake. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Mm. So we get to block Swain. Oh, right. It's done. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The Yordle Grifter will be too stunned at seeing Let them see me, not Swain. You. Oh. Took my Fey Guide? Fey Guide's like my favorite card in the deck. Take my Fey Guide. I will. There we go. That's what they get for taking Fey Guide. GG's. My and only so I think that was a really good block keeping them from Riptide Rexing. Okay, so there's GG's. 3 and 0. Oh. Alright, playing the deep deck. Alright, this could be a cool matchup. We could Dragon's Rage and kick a Nautilus. We're gonna mulligan our hands. I could see that Shunpo being pretty decent, but you know, we need to get our other units and try to get ahead. Go, Grenadier, go. Hopefully no one fours. Boo, they had a one four. I don't think this is I don't think this is worth an attack. I don't think I want to have my Grenadier be a 3-1. They have a lot of things that do, like, one damage. So probably Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters will kill my Trifarian. Okay, Deadloom Wanderer. Cool. Good, those are three good tosses for me. I don't want them to have any of those cards. All right, so I think I'm going to Nocturne Fervor. Oh, darn. I pass. I was hoping they would play, you know, no something. Okay, so we're going to Nocturne Fervor that thing. So we're going to be at 10. We'll go Fervor plus Flock on this Thresh. Unfortunately, that's only 10. Grenadier would still only be 11. Uh. 
Uh oh, I got got. I mean, so Elusive Zed, remember, the other thing won't have Elusive. The Living Shadow doesn't have Elusive. I definitely want to save the Elusive for Swain. What's up, Friday? Hey, it's Monday. It's not Friday. <laughs> Alright, so I need to play Zed to just trade to get this Dread Bloom a Wanderer out of here, I think. Because they do that challenge, and then if they attack with other things, then I'll have my Grenadier be able to block the Dread Bloom Wanderer. Okay, which they're not, not doing other attacks. I gotta hope no vengeance. Gotta hope no vengeance. Um. Get bloody, get paid. Ouch, that's not good either. Yeah, the Diana. Yeah, it's um, what do I call that deck? Uh, Mountain Diana is the deck that you're talking about. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their knees. So I could certainly see them using Vengeance on the Leviathan instead of Vengeance on Swain. So I'm playing the Leviathan first because I need to ghost, like my best play is to ghost the Swain and hit him and do three damage to everything. Oh no, that ruination. Uh, it's fine against Vengeance, ruination's much, t much more difficult. Well, maybe they don't... Yeah, I mean, we, we we have the ability to play a new Swain. We have these Dragon's Rages. They're not necessarily going to be able to kill new Swain. Definitely not going to allow them to challenge my Swain... Captain Farron? Huh. This is difficult. So Farron does 4 damage. Swain does a lot more damage if we have Dragon's Rage also. Yeah, y'all are right. Should, should've just gone for the Swain. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I completely regret what I'm doing. Okay, never mind. See? Worked out. Worked out perfectly. We'll have Swain for next turn. We got a vengeance out of their hand. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Worked out perfectly. Uh, except for now they have a blocker. But I guess I'd have the Dragon's Rage to kill that blocker. I will tend this garden. Cool. Yeah, still no Nautilus, but they are, you know, they are playing Thresh, so maybe they're only playing two Nautilus. Going harvesting. Better to eat. So down to nine. Yes, yeah, definitely my plan is next turn the Swain, Rage, Ghost. I'm hoping since they just played a Vengeance previously that they are out of Vengeance. So we know we know these two cards are sea monsters, so they have they have two sea monsters and a jaw hunt. Or no no, just we only know about one sea monster in hand, don't we? No mate, I guess two, because yeah, Jaw Hunter should have created a sea monster the first time. So two of these cards are sea monsters. Noxus will not conquer the Shadow Isles. Curious, you think we'd seek to? 
Didn't see any vengeances there. So this will kill the Jaw Hunters and stun the Abyssal Eye. So I'm I'm too worried about vengeance for the Dragon's Rage. Merely pawns in a greater game. Blood and guts, golden glory. Witness strength. But I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just silly. Sweet. Maybe that's just silly because like the the vengeance would just blow me up no matter what. That's awesome. All right, now we have a lot of ways to do a little bit of damage. Your ship has come in. We can't have vengeance now. Dragon's rage. Such Swain's rage. Boom. Alright. GG's. Praise the Noctora. This deck's pretty Remember sweet. Alright, Swain's Rage is 4 and 0 oh over in normal. That means that we're taking it over to Master's Rank for the fifth game. Let's give it a, a big time test, because it's it's passing all the normal tests with flying colors. Okay, I like the I like this big matchup. They're not playing, you know, like they're not playing very much removal, which is good. Swain doesn't match up against Trundle. I mean, Trifarian doesn't really match up against Trundle either. Ooh. Play Zed on turn three. The problem with playing Zed is Avalanche. Maybe just play the Trifarian, the Reckless Trifarian. But Zed would have been better against Weirding Stones, that's for sure. Alright, so we're going to do that, plus Ravenous Flock, plus Zed. I'll knock him dead. Come on, work. Don't have Troll Chant. Just work. That's too bad. Definitely need to attack before an avalanche. Nothing's tougher than a troll. They're down to nine. We got some powerful stuff for later on. So they're passing with all that mana, so I guess I just go take my turn now. No, we should level up Swain. So that then I can have Swain plus Dragon's Rage leveled up. Empire, 
Let's level up, Swain. I wish I could double spell. I wish I could play like Legion Grenadier first. Because I do this, they're just going to Mind Splitter. Because we, we know they have a Mind Splitter in hand. Is it possible I should just pass? Well, they'll, they'll, play, the, they'll play the Ice Pillar first now. Okay, we're not. So that's done. So I play Grenadier, then they play Mind Splitter. Like I could play Leviathan, then they play Mind Splitter. Then they get to hit me for eight. Yeah, it's still this. I'm only taking eight. Okay, they're probably playing a really soul, right? Probably. So my plan is play this and Dragon's Rage. Okay, well they can't play a really soul anymore. Flash freeze. Well, that's really annoying. I want to have my Swain's Rage, come on. Who wants to fight? Back up to twenty. I have to be able to have the three two be able to block if we need it, but basically if they have if they have celestial cards that obliterate, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble now. Gaining gaining twenty life. And Yeah, you know, they just had some stuff that hurt. The gaining twenty life, flash freeze. Those definitely hurt. My how they I think we're just gonna go decimate stun. I think that's safer than Fey make a blocker. That's quite enough. No. Wouldn't have mattered either way, they'd have the hush. They'd stop it. That was a difficult game to play. I guess I need to play things earlier. Like the turn seven, I probably need to play the Dragon's Rage whenever we both didn't do anything. I think I need to play the Dragon's Rage there and um, yeah, maybe need to play a little more aggressive. That them being able to keep their trundle alive, that was probably all the difference in the game, right? Like and and yeah, maybe if I play Zed on turn three, even if, we never saw like Avalanche, but maybe they would have had Avalanche for the Zed, but if not, um, you yeah, know, that would have been awesome to have that thing against Weirding Stones early. So yeah, maybe I played two say uh, you know, if we go back and replay that game and just go much more aggressive, maybe we would have gotten that. I would have just taken the, the real aggressive line every single turn. Yeah, Frostbite Frostbite is just is just always gonna hurt, right? Like that ouch, that hurt real bad with the Dragon's Rage. Certainly. Um because <clears throat> instead of going for that Dragon's Rage that turn, I could have been going, you know, Captain Farron, 
that would have been better for me but yeah they had a they had a lot of good they had the good answers you know like whatever the whatever i was doing i was trying i was playing around like card a and they had card b a couple of times um you know gaining 20 life certainly didn't help whenever we're trying to burn them out that certainly did not help all right so there we go there's swain's rage um still a pretty cool deck uh get to do some some cool stuff with swain's dragon's rage that's that's just a pretty cool deck. I mean, I loved Fey Guide. I kind of wanted to see more Fey Guides in this deck. Like, more like Zed into Fey Guide. Um, I love that. I don't really like Re Reckless Trifarian too much. Um, not not a big fan of that card. I'd rather have more. Especially, we already have, like, some other things to be playing on turn three. I'd rather have, like, some Fey Guides to go alongside with that. Because um, I think that that's an awesome combo. I do. That's, that's an awesome combo. Of giving giving Zed giving Swain just permanent permanent elusive I like that quite a bit I don't yeah I don't know if there's anything too much to do about flash freeze you could play a couple of mites I could see this deck also just playing a couple of mites like like basically like what if it's just like no Trifarian three Fey Guide and then like um, maybe it's just maybe you can go two Fey Guide two Ghost two Might and then. Uh, might might would be good against flash freeze, but then might's also just good, you know, with like Swain. Like that's that's also just a good combo of giving giving the overwhelm. The Trifarians were good with Noxion Fervor. That was definitely something that Reckless Trifarian was good with. Maybe I'd do this and just take out Decimate. Actually, I think that's what I'd want to do. Maybe we just keep the two Trifarians in here. Because then Trifarian's awesome with Reckless Trifarian's awesome with Might as well. Because we saw like Reckless Trifarian just get uh, just get roadblocked by little one ones. So if we have Might in here, we can get their Reckless Trifarian damage. Maybe we just do that and take out Decimate, where we have Captain Farron. Yeah, yeah, we don't really need Decimate. We have all this other stuff. Okay, that's that's what I think I would recommend. So take out the two Decimate, take out a Ghost, and put in two Might and another Fey Guide. Because Fey Guide plus Trifarian, that is a great combo. That's a great... like So you have both of these awesome three mana threats with Zed and Trifarian, and then you can Fey Guide them. Um, yeah, that's that's what I recommend, doing that. The Shumpo... I don't know. Shumpo... I, I think it's fine to play one. <laughs> it could steal games for you whenever you have Fey Guide or Ghost, one of these elusives, where I like, make one of these things elusives, get an additional attack... Obviously, with the Swain, with the elusive getting additional attack, it's fine. I could, I could take it or leave it. But you know, if you if you want to if you want to keep it, that's fine with me. But yeah, let's get some might in here. Be able to counter those flash freeze and do some cool stuff with this. All right, so that's those are a couple little changes that I'd recommend here for Swain's Rage. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of this deck anything else anything else you want to see on meme tier monday always love it seeing those comments but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video